Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential rational equation or an irrational exponential equation. We have 27 to the power x plus 343 to the power x all over 63 to the power x plus 147 to the power x. And that is equal to 37 over 21 and we're going to be solving for x values. Now, one of the things that I notice when I look at a problem like this is I just add the numerators and the denominators. So what is 343 plus 27 and what is 63 plus 147? That's going to give you an idea about what the solutions might look like. But let's go ahead and solve this problem without guessing. So in order to be able to solve this problem, I'm going to consider the prime factorization of each of these numbers. 27 is 3 to the third power. Hopefully you do know that 343 is 7 to the third power because it's 49 times 7. And 63 can be written as 7 times 9 or 3 squared times 7, right? And 147 is actually 49 times 3, which is 3 times 7 squared. So that's the type of thing we have. Let's go ahead and see how we can solve this by using the prime factorizations. So I'm going to go ahead and replace 27 with 3 to the third power and then that's going to give me 3 to the power 3x and then 343 with 7 to the third power that's going to give me 7 to the power 3x and then at the bottom I'm going to replace 63 with 3 squared times 7 that's going to give me 3 to the power 2x times 7 to the power x and 147 to the power x is going to give me 3 to the x with 7 to the power 2x. And this is equal to 37 over 21. Great. So where do we go from here? Looks like we have some common factors. So we can hopefully take out some stuff. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. This is 3 to the power 3x plus 7 to the power 3x. And then that is divided by, now, I want to take out 3 to the x times 7 to the x as a common factor. And that's going to give me, inside the parentheses, 3 to the x plus 7 to the x. All right? Now, at this point, you may want to use substitution. Why? Because it's a little easier to see what we're going to do if we use letters or just substitution. So let's go ahead and do the following. Since we have the 3 to the x and 7 to the x as our basis, especially looking at this, I think that's going to be helpful to use as basis. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one A and call this one B. So this becomes A and B again. But this one is going to be because 3 to the power 3x can be written as 3 to the power x cubed because we multiply the exponents, right? then I can write it as a cubed. So this becomes a cubed. And since 7 to the power x is equal to b from here, then 7 to the power 3x is just going to be b cubed. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the replacements, and our expression is going to look much nicer. a cubed plus b cubed, which you should recognize as difference, I mean sum of two cubes could also be a difference, but in this case, it's a sum. Now, what do we do with that? Well, there is a formula for sum of two cubes. Hopefully, you, you know that formula, but let me rewrite it for you. a cubed plus b cubed can be factored as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Great. So, we can go ahead and use that in the numerator. And that's actually going to help us find a simpler form. So let's go ahead and write this as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And in the denominator, I have ab multiplied by a plus b. And this is equal to a number, which is 37 over 21. That number is actually going to be important towards the end. Right now, we don't really care much about it. And a plus b cancels out. One of the things that you need to be careful about is a plus b should not be 0. Otherwise, you can't just cancel it out. This is going to be undefined. But what is a plus b? a plus b is 
3 to the x plus 7 to the x, and that'll never equal 0 for real numbers. If you're looking for real solutions, obviously that's not going to happen. But if you're looking for complex, then you can go ahead and try to solve this equation, which is interesting, and we've actually done a similar problem before. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was with a 5 and negative 2 or something like that. You can definitely solve it in the complex world. But let's go ahead and focus on this for reals. And we can go ahead and cancel those out, which is going to give us a much simpler expression. Now is the time to cross multiply. Let's do it. Starting with the quadratics. So this gives us 21a squared minus 21ab plus 21b squared. Everything is 21 equals 37ab. Because we got rid of a plus b, now our expression is simpler. And guess what we're going to do next? Subtract and set it equal to 0. So let's do it here. 21a squared. Now minus 21 minus 37, that's going to give you minus 58ab plus 21b squared equals 0. So this is our quadratic and we just need to solve it. How do you solve a quadratic like this? Well, it's a little tricky. One way to do it is using the quadratic formula. But what are you going to use it? Because there are two variables. So one thing that's really cool is we can actually turn this into a single variable because it's a homogeneous equation. And we can go ahead and basically divide everything by b squared. And notice that b should not be 0, and it's never going to be 0 because b is 7 to the power x, remember? So that's not going to happen, but we get something useful. 21a squared over b squared, which I can write as a over b squared. Here, b squared, one of them cancels out. I end up with 58 times a over b. And then these two cancel out, leaving us with a constant. Great. Now, this equation is easy to solve if you make the substitution a over b equals c. Any variable is fun, but I like c because it's a, b, c. Okay. So now we get 21c squared minus 58c plus 21 equals 0. Great. Let's go ahead and see how we can factor this expression uh, by using either the quadratic formula or something like that. Okay. So you can also use the calculator at this point because the numbers are pretty large. You could also use the x method, which may, let me tell you what, how that works. You multiply 21 times 21. That is going to give you 441, I think, if I'm not wrong. Then you put the product here. You put the sum here. That's the sum, negative 58. And then you look for two numbers whose product is 441 and whose sum is negative 58. Obviously, since the sum is negative and the product is positive, you're looking for two negative numbers. And 441 is 21 times 21. So that might give you a clue. To get to 58, I kind of need to make one of these smaller. So like, for example, I could do 7 times 3, and then 3 can make this 63. And notice that these two are not going to give me uh, 58. Because remember, if they're both negative, I'm supposed to add them, but that's not going to work. So that's probably not a good uh, way to break it down. But I could try the uh, 21. I could just actually make it a little different. Or, like I said, you can use a calculator. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and give you the way to factor this expression, and then we're going to proceed with the solutions. So without further ado, let me go ahead and give you what the factors are. This expression can be factored as 7c minus 3 and 3c minus 7. By setting that equal to 0, we're actually finding two c values. So c can be 3 over 7, or c can be 7 over 3. But remember what c is. C is A over B, and A and B are 3 to the X and 7 to the X. So, C is 3 to the X divided by 7 to the X, which can be written as 3 over 7 to the power X. Let's go ahead and plug these in, and we're, we're going to find the X values from here. So, set this equal to 3 over 7. You'll find X equals 1, and set this 3 over 7 to the X to the other C value, so we can call these C sub 1 and C sub 2. 7 thirds, and from here, you're going to find x equals negative 1. And those are the two real values for this equation. And let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of this function intersecting the horizontal line at two points, 
x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.